Hey everyone, if you enjoyed this video, do make sure to like and subscribe and come hang out with us in Discord. Welcome draft fans, and in particular, special welcome to the Season 6 Draft Rig Premier League players. I am your DLC for this season, Sunflygon. Um, and this is going to be a short video just outlining the teams, revealing who's in the Premier League. And at the end of it, I'll also do the draft order in a wheel. So, um, yeah, sadly, there's, before we jump into it too much, there's been a few um, players who would typically qualify for the Premier League who have been unable to participate this season for, you know, various reasons and whatnot, myself included, which is unfortunate, but I do still think this will be a very strong league and I'm looking forward to seeing some cracking battles here. Um, like I said, sadly, I'm unable to participate, but I'm thrilled to be the DLC for this league and hopefully we can make it a special one. So yeah, without further ado, um, I'm going to go into a brief um, so the way the non draftery people or new people to the server, the way our league works is a tiering system. So there is promotion and relegation between the leagues. It's a little confusing. Um, it's a little complicated sometimes, but um, basically tier five is for your beginners or people who are new, yeah, new to draft leagues or returning after a bit of a hiatus. Um, we like to accommodate all um, skill levels and such. So uh, we the main the main goal is to have everyone have an enjoyable season, and the best way to do that is to go in a league where you're not either gonna win ten games or lose ten games. You know, you want it to be competitive and fun and see some unique sets and stuff like that. Uh, the one above that we have tier four, which is. Um, for people who have played a few leagues, so they're not new to it, but, you know, they're still also, you know, they're still learning and stuff. They have only been a little exposed to it. Or it's also for the people in previous seasons who uh, played in Tier 5 and went really well, for example. Uh, above that, we have Tier 3, which is uh, you get there from promotion from Tier 4 or relegation from Victory League or some new or any new players in the server that have um, a bit of experience and such. So this is a pretty, I would say, I mean, they're all gonna have strong players and such, but tier three up is where, you know, you start to see some really skillful players and such. Um, the winner of, we typically have one or two tier three leagues um, and the winners from that actually have the chance to go straight to Premier League, which is the highest quality we have in our server and, you know, the goal for everyone like that. Um, Victory League can either be promotion from Tier 3, so that could be a second, third or fourth finish, or relegation from Premier League, where actually the bottom six out of 14 drop from Premier to Victory. So. There's definitely a high high quality players in Victory League. It's always a very competitive league. And above that, we have the Premier League, which is what I'm focusing on here, because that is the league I am DLCing. Um, so you can get to Premier League by uh, promotion from Victory League, or if you played Premier League last season and avoided relegation. So this is the highest standard in our server of Draft League. And it's always, um, really good battles and really good players and such. So sadly, uh, for a number of reasons, like I said at the start, I'm unable to participate in this season's Premier League. Um, but, you know, uh, it's it's still going to be a great league. I'm really looking forward to it. But without further ado, let's jump into the teams and reveal them one by one. So first up, we have the reigning champion, Alex and the Cambridge Camera Ups. They have a career premier record of 28 and 19 for a 60% win rate. Um, I don't see any, I mean, without seeing the draft order or anything, Alex has always been right up there in the mix. He's made finals in, I think, all but one season. So, um, you know, I expect big things from the from the Cambridge camera ups and hopefully they can uh, repeat. Gene broke the championship curse where you win the season and then get relegated to the league after. But 
Let's hope Alex can follow suit and, you know, go one better. Next up we have Battlestorm and the Pittsburgh Cellar Steelers, widely regarded as one of, if not the best battlers in the server. Um, he has a habit of being a bit of a bridesmaid and never the bride here. He loves to finish runner-up and that he happened again last season, but, um, you know, he's always going to be a threat, uh, a big chance to win the league always. Look at that um, career record at 64% with 30 and 17. Um, the Cellar Steels will definitely be hoping to take this championship home. Um, but they'll obviously have to draft a good team and play really well throughout the season to achieve that. Next up we have Jellyfish and the Lumos City Legendaries. Uh, last season finishing in the top six of the league. Um, Jelly has always made the finals, I believe. They may have missed one season, but very consistent team with a 22 and 14, 61% record in the Premier League. Um, definitely a force we reckon with and should be one of the favourites going into this league. Um, always drafts. Typically would draft a team of, you know, the one or two legendary Pokemon and really lean on them. Um, always finds a bargain that we're wondering at the end of the season how haven't they been moved up a tier. But, you know, we've got a few tier changes this time and hopefully he can find a diamond in the rough in the you know, the lower tiers or the higher tiers and um, really make them work as he always does. Next up is the San Francisco 49 Tails, coached by Gene or Geneva's Iron. Uh, finished in the top six of Premier League last season with a 59% career win record. He is a former Premier League champion, I believe in season four, three or four. I think four, I think goes with season three. Um, so, you know, he's done it before. He knows what it takes to win a, win a um, championship and he will be looking to back that up again. Uh, like I alluded to earlier, he did break the curse. He managed to make the playoffs after winning a, um, after winning the championship. So, you know, no excuse not to do it again. <laughs> Next up, we have the Motherland Marsh Tops, coached by Creature Man. Um, You'll see in Season 5 he was a Victory League 10th place finisher, but the career Premier record of 16 and 10 and 62% is one of the strongest we have in the field. Creature Man sadly in Season 4 I believe, or maybe Season 3 even, he managed to turn an 0-3 start into finishing in the finals but um, due to some personal issues and whatnot, had to actually drop from that league. So he was a big favorite to win that league, in my opinion. Um, he never really actually got relegated from Premier League, so he comfortably earned his spot back. And once again, I believe will be a big threat to win this league, or at least go deep. Um, he always has some pretty wacky sets. He's had some teams that I have personally questioned in the past, but he always finds a way to make them work. So do not underestimate the Marsh Tomps this season. Drafferig and the Lincoln Lavatars with a six and four record, 60%. Last season was their first league in the Premier League. And as you can see there, they finished in the top four. A very, very strong competitor. Um, again, I this, this field is so strong. Um, the Lincoln Lavatars, depending on what the teams they get and you know where they get in the draft order and such, they're my sneaky pick to go real deep here. I really like the way Dra Draft Rig plays, and I'm looking forward to seeing what he can do in season six here. Next up, we have the Boston Blades Potato. Uh, Potato finished ninth place last season with a three and five record. He actually did have a positive differential though. So it's interesting to have a losing record, but a positive differential. It just goes to show how close the losses were. I think he had at least two or three matches that definitely could have gone either way until the last turn or two. Um, typically ninth place would get you relegated, but because of a few dropouts, Potato gets a second chance to prove that he belongs in the Premier League. And I don't doubt him, actually. I think Potato can do really well this season, and I'm definitely looking forward to the Blades. Um, you know, I think I think they should aim for playoffs, definitely, but it, it will be tough, for sure. Um, 
but we'll see what they can come up with. I love that logo as well. It's one of my favorite logos. It's a really cool one. Next up, we have Meliak P, who was the Victory League runner-up last season. He won the, um, the regular season. So I think he went either 7-1 or 8-0 in the regular season. Um, definitely a huge threat and you know he drafted an amazing team last in the Premier, in the victory league sorry um, he was in the Premier League in season four he unfortunately was relegated with a three and five record but you know sky's the limit for the Rampardos. I think they are definitely a sneaky chance to go well in this league if, if last season's anything to go by I really love Meliaki's play style and let's see what the bread man can bring this season. Next up we have the menacing Krakens. Do not let that one and six record uh, fool you. That was one season. I believe it was the first the first season we had of Gen 9 and um, Nuno hadn't actually played the game so there were a lot of mechanics and mons that he was not familiar with which put him at a big disadvantage. He Finished last season as the Victory League top four. I think he came second behind Meliakti in the regular season and the eventual winner, Luna, actually knocked him out in the semi-finals of that one. Um, yeah, I think Nuno's sky's the limit for Nuno as well. I know I've said that a lot, but that's kind of what the Premier League's about. I think a lot of these players can... It's the beauty of it. The field is so strong, anyone's able to win and I'm rooting for Nuno for sure. I hope he does well. That should be the Hamilton Meganiums though. We can talk about that later. Next up we have Danger West, the Iron Serpent Champion and the Lavender Town Spirits. So as I alluded to at the start, the Iron Serpent League was a tier three league last season. And the champion of that um, uh, it's promotion directly to the Premier League and Danger West definitely deserves this place. Um, Danger West is a, a player who many of us have played uh, draft leagues against in other servers. He's always consistent, a very strong player, and, you know, I it'll depend on how the team shape up, shake up and how the draft order goes, but Danger West is definitely a sneaky for playoffs and beyond here. Um, Never been in the Premier League, so this is foreign territory for him. It's his rookie season. Uh, we will wait and see what they can do. The Dallas Victory Stars, coached by Xavier. Uh, once again, another Premier League debutant. We have a few of them this season. Um, in Season 5, he was a Victory League 8th place finisher. He actually co-coached with another player, uh, Hayden, or Flamethrowers. Uh, as the ISL mob squad. Uh, Xavier kind of earned this on a bit of a reputation. He is very, he's very consistently strong and up the top of other leagues and stuff. So, um, you know, I expect no different here. I think Xavier is, again, don't let the, the fact this is their first season in the Premier League or last season's finish fool you. This is a team that could go all the way. Um, I love that logo as well. I just wish it was a transparent background. <laughs> Next up, we had Bu Bezin, the and the cute hands. Another great logo. Another consistent theme here for the Premier League. The Iron Serpent runner-up. So that was a tier three league runner-up, uh, beaten by Danger West in the final, but very consistently strong all season and actually in a side league, so in between seasons, actually defeated Battlestorm in the grand final. So a strong, consistent record is why Hugh Bezin was able to secure this spot in the Premier League. Well-deserved in my opinion. Uh, another debutant to the league and who knows what they can do this season. I'm, I'm excited to see. They're a happy hour regular and I've thoroughly enjoyed commentating their games and hope to do it again this season. Next up, we have Mosef and the Boston Weasels. They did not participate in season five um, because of um, a variety of reasons. They also have not actually been in the Premier League before at the time of like recording their stats and whatnot, but he was in a Victory League equivalent 
two seasons ago, and I believe either won or came runner-up in that, so definitely deserves this spot. Um, a bit of an unknown for many people here who, if they weren't in the server about, you know, a season, two or three seasons ago, may not know the battle style of the Bolton Boisels. So it could be a sneaky little dark horse here. You wouldn't want to be matched up against Mosef early in the season, put it that way. Finally, we have Mary and the Luscious Lopenies, the Winged King Champion. This was the other Tier 3 league last season, along with Iron Serpent. So they are a um, Premier League debutante as well, but very strong performance last season. I believe they had the Turtle and, you know, it was allowed. So there's absolutely nothing wrong with using that and leveraging that to a championship. And that's exactly what Mary did. Um, Another player who was a regular on Happy Hour and I loved commentating. The Turtle sadly will not be available for Mary this season, but I'm sure they'll be able to come up with another um, another Mon to really leverage their season off and see if they can go all the way and survive in Premier League or make finals and beyond. Um, as I alluded to, I'm really, really looking forward to DLCing this season. I'm sad that I can't play, but um, I think it'll be a fun league and I'm excited for it. But without further ado, let's jump into the wheel and see what the draft order is. All right, Premier League players, I have the amazing looking wheel here with all your logos on them. Um, so we're going to do things a little differently this time. Normally we do pick 14 to pick one in reverse, but this time I'm actually going to go pick one to 14. So the first name to come out here will be pick number one. So fingers crossed and let's see what we end up with here. Oh, so close. Pick one is the Menacing Kraken. Menacing Krakens will be pick number one. Okay. And pick number two. The Lavender Town Spirits. So we have Nuno at pick one and Danger West at pick two. Um, let's go to remove there. All right, pick three. Oh, it's close. The Lincoln Lavatars, Giraffe Rig. Lincoln Lavatars at pick three. Pick four, still a very good pick here. I mean, we've seen winners come from anywhere in the draft order, so it's not a huge deal here. We have the legendaries, Jellyfish. Okay, so that's pick four. Pick five. Potato and the Boston Blades. Great logo. Okay, pick six. We're now getting into the undesirable territory here, I would say. So we have Creature Man and the Motherland Marsh Tops. I mean, the crowd love it. I don't know if you can hear the the um, the cheering when it lands on a name here, but um, what do we have here? Pick seven. We have Xavier and the Dallas Victory Stars. Debuting in Premier League at Draft Eight, so yeah, should be good. All right, pick eight. The camera ups, the defending champions. Defending champions get pick eight. Probably not ideal for them, but you know, 
bit of a challenge for the reigning champion. We'll see what they can do here. Uh, pick nine, we have Mosef and the Boston Boisels. All right, pick 10. We're getting close to the wheel now. These picks probably aren't that bad anymore. Uh, I believe that's Mary and the Luscious Lopenies. Pretty sus name, but that's okay. Okay. And... Oh, what are we at here? 10? I think it's 10. Meliakpi, the bread man, and the Retro City Rampados. Okay, so we have 12, 13, 14 left. So that was pick 11. So this is pick 12. Battlestorm and the Pittsburgh Celesteels, hoping to do one better than last season. Celesteelers. Okay, pick 13 here. Will be you, Bezin, and the cute hands. Leaving a former Premier League champion, I forget what season it was, maybe season four. Um, Gene and the San Francisco 49ers with the wheel pick at number 14. So that concludes the um, the video. Best of luck to all the Premier League players. I will be your DLC for the season and I'm really looking forward to it. Sadly, I cannot compete because I have some life things going on in the next month or so, but hopefully we can, we can make this season fun and we can see some hype sets and some unique teams and such. So... Uh, best of luck. Reach out if you um, have any questions or concerns to me and I'll do my best. So thank you for tuning in and peace.